You may not realize it, but Subway restaurants make more than great sandwiches. They help make their communities strong. Many Subway restaurants are locally owned by people like Shiv in Tappahannock or Larry and Brittany in Lake Anna. Like any small business owner, they work hard. They're involved in their community, and their restaurants benefit the neighborhood in so many ways. So when you get a sandwich from your local Subway, you're getting a lot more than a meal. You're getting a stronger community, one bite at a time. Local restaurants, independently owned.
telling you, let me stop before I, man, we won't have a show tonight, I'm telling you. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, that's right, you have tuned in to Cooking with PD Nature. We have a special guest tonight, I'm so honored. We have Thebra Ball, new upper coming uh, chef in the game, so she's about to do some wild things, do some crazy things, flip the spatula behind her back, up underneath her leg, boy, you ain't ever seen it before. But let me go ahead and open up my man's mic. What's up, Chef PD Nature? What's going on? How you doing? How you doing, everybody out there listening? And how you doing, Orlando? Man, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good, brother. I'm just, it just, now I'm just waiting for Sundays to come about, man. It's just so exciting to have Sundays coming in. It's like, come on, come on. Let's let's see what he got for us. And then also now we're starting to have guests on the line. So let's see what they're bringing. Definitely, man. It's definitely exciting. And, 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 the biggest thing about the thing, biggest thing about about it about what we're doing is we always glorify, you know, God and everything we do, and that's the that's the most amazing part of the show, man. Amen, amen. That's most and definitely I, the number one thing. Shoot. Yeah, that was uh, you you, de- you definitely surprised me, man. That that definitely filled my heart because that was that's one of my. Favorite songs I've I've ever recorded. I mean that that was a freestyle recording. So if that's not God working, oh, wow. you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't write anything to that song. I just went in the song. I, I just went in the studio, and they let the beat, they let the beat go, and I let the spirit go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, God, God, is, God is amazing. Definitely amazing. There you go, brother. There you go. <laughs> Hey, that's how it works sometimes, most definitely, man. I love that joint. When you sent it to me, I said, let me listen to a couple of these tracks. And then earlier in the week, I had a a, a guest group on, which was stuck, stuck on a name, and they're more of a reggae group and everything. So I was like, man, let me see what uh, PD has. So definitely that stuck out, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to use that. I'm going to switch it up a little bit for the intro. Um so we can go ahead and get the ball rolling. Why don't you go ahead and get our uh, our start off prayer going? Since I did it last week, you can do it this week, and um, we can uh, bring our guests on. Definitely, definitely. Um, let's definitely uh, uh, go to the Lord in the name of Jesus as we all bow our heads and um, shut our eyes. And if you're on the road, definitely don't do that. In the name of Jesus, dear mm-hmm. Father God, Jesus. I would like to thank you for the day. I would like to thank you for this show. Thank you for Brother Orlando, all the listeners in the name of Jesus that's, you know, going to get some encouragement out of what we're doing together. I thank you for blessing me. Uh, This show definitely encourages me, so I know it's going to bless and encourage others. I thank you for showing us the way, showing us to be stronger men day by day, showing us how to be a light in this world of darkness. And dear Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to help people see that your glory is the way to go. Like, there's no other no other road, no other path. There's no other way but destruction other than following the Spirit of God. And I just want that to be known, and I just want people to know that the more you love God, the more things happen positively in your life. And I just thank you to... I just thank you today. I thank God for everything that he's doing. I thank him for, you know, waking us up and showing us that, you know, there's a better tomorrow. You know, if you just focus on what you have to do and knowing that knowing that each person has a place to make a difference. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Now, once again, ladies and gentlemen, you have tuned in to Cooking with PD Nature. I am a co-host, Orlando. It doesn't matter about me. You have my my man, Chef, on the line, PD Nature. And we also have a special guest. We have a special guest this week. We're going to start trying to have uh, guest chefs or guest um, artists come on to the show and just liven things up a little bit so we can learn about, you know, other people's uh, habits in the kitchen, things of that nature. We will have Recipe of the Day. And we also will have What's Cooking Song of the Day. 
So, hey, no fret. Um, If you want to call in, if you're listening online, if you want to call in, feel free to do so. The number is 347-857-1395. Just press the one key, and you will be live on air with us. So, without further ado, and then also, like I love to say, let me shut my mouth and go ahead and open up this phone line here. And at least uh, introduce you to our special guest. Welcome, welcome into the kitchen. All right, Miss Deborah Ball, Mrs. Ball, how you doing? Hello, how are you? Nice to be here. How are you? <laughs> we're good, we're good, man. Um, Debra, Chef, Chef, Debra. Hello, nice to meet you. Chef, and that was Petey, right? Uh, yes, uh-huh. Okay, nice to meet you too, Petey. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> yes. I'm, 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 I'm excited. Go ahead, Petey. No, I was just saying I'm excited to hear about uh, these things that you do in the kitchen. You're sad? Why were you sad? <laughs> no, I said I'm excited. <laughs> oh, you're excited? Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Um, Cool, cool. Um, I definitely do yeah, it up in yeah. the kitchen. Um, you know, I try to to put love into all my food, so that way I'm not sending out things that I wouldn't want to eat myself. So, mm. definitely an exciting. Well, see, job. that's that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny because that's the same thing that uh, Chef Petey said. Actually, it's uh, Chef Free Freddie Cole, but we Petey Nature is his uh, performance name for his his music side. But we call him Petey oh, Chef okay. Petey or Chef. But um, that's the same thing that he said. You know, when he's in the kitchen, he like to put you know love and put you know pray over his food, things of that nature, so he's not sending out any bad vibes and things of that nature yeah. with his food. Now, is that something that you know, it just was instilled in you too, as far as being chefs or cooks, or is that something that they actually uh, talk about in culinary art school? Um, well, my love for cooking comes from when I was much younger. I had um, a grandmother, we called her Nana. I would go over her house and she would show me how to cook various different things, and it was just like a it was a nice, peaceful escape from my home, you know, where there were, you know, always people there would just be me and her. She, there's definitely something in me that wants to cook. It calms me, you know. Um, mm-hmm. Growing up, I had anger issues. Um, I've calmed down a lot. I learned that when I was cooking, that's the only time I was really, like, calm and focused and and really interested in something. Mm-hmm. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Now, Petey, I know that you uh, basically started learning from, I believe, your mom as well. I mean, so it seems like y'all has some, you know, some connection there as far as same, um, you know, same upbringing as far as the mom and the grandmother cooking, things of that nature. Now, Thebra, when you were in the kitchen cooking, what was something that you just loved to cook that you just knew that you know this is my dish every you know no matter what anybody else says I know I can cook this um I actually have this really good stuffed shells recipe and um it never comes out wrong it always comes out the same like I can be doing something else at the same time and and just it just turns out right (laughs) like every time Hmm. okay oh yeah I'm what what is Go ahead, Sorry. Chef. I didn't hear you. Oh, no, I was saying I love stuff, Chef. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, have, I mean, it's, it's it's a pretty standard recipe. You know, I use ricotta and, you know, different types of sausage. I use pepperoni. I top it with a marinara, um, whether it be homemade or store-bought, you know, depending on how much time I have that day, and mozzarella. And stick it in the oven, and then it comes out, and it's done. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Now, uh, reading the bio that you gave me, it it says that you're, you know, you're 25 years old. You know, you have a lot really going on for yourself. Just uh, tell the people out there uh, that are listening that probably may not know who Thebra is, explain to them who you are, just a, you know, brief rundown of who you are. Okay. um, Well, I'm a mother. Um, I'm married. I, um, I used to be a CNA. Um, it wasn't really for me. I decided to do something I actually love to do, what I always love to do, cook. So I decided to 
focus myself and and make something out of it. I started going to school, um, culinary school. They have this program at the college that I live near. Um, my teacher and my mentor, her name is Hadley Bright. I don't know if um, she's pretty popular around here. I'm pretty sure somebody will hear this and say, oh, yeah, I know her because she's very popular. But, you know, and she helped become a, a, a stronger chef and have more of a chef mindset rather than a cook mindset. You know, um, I have some businesses that I that I want to to venture into. I want to I want my own catering business. I feel like um, the restaurant business isn't really like family oriented. It's more for people who don't have people at home waiting for them. You know, it's it's a bit depressing because you you're cooking for other people and their children while you can't be at home and cook. Well, if you work at night basically, because usually you're going to work at night if you work in the restaurant business. But you're cooking for other people and their children, but you're not able to cook for your own family. You know, this is just my experience. So I, I thought about, you know, starting a catering business and, you know, having certain hours, being able to provide jobs with, for people that have the same views as I do so that they're able to work during the day, be off in time to spend time with their families. So, you know, that's pretty much me in a nutshell. Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, Chef, you have any questions for for Thibra? Um, no, um, no, uh, not at the moment. Um, I'm just, um, I just definitely want to uh, encourage her, you know, because uh, I have a catering company um, myself, Taste the World Gourmet Catering here in North Carolina, and I just want to say, you know, um, you are right. You do get to. Uh, pretty much design your own schedule and you don't work as as many hours as you would for a restaurant and when you do work as many hours as you work for a restaurant best to believe you, you're making a whole another level of money so that definitely makes up makes up for it you know what I'm saying and makes you feel better about what you're doing so I definitely encourage you um, just know that you know, you know, God is going to bless you. Um, you're going to get your catering company. It's going to flourish because uh, I can feel, you know, um, it's in your heart. It's in your heart. It's something that you desire. Okay. Yeah. And and you. God, you know, and you're welcome. You, you know, and that's that's one thing that uh, God promised us that, you know, he'll give us the desires of our heart. And uh, you're going to get it. Just remember that when times get rough, just keep looking up. I just went through my roughest times and, you know, now's the time when my catering business is about to flourish. And I've been open for, for some years now. So just, just know, just keep looking up. Whatever you do, just remember, keep looking up, keep looking up. You know, you're going to have losses. You're going to have mistakes. You're going to learn from them, but it's going to make you a better business person. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. No problem at all. No problem at all. Now, um, do you have a name for your catering company, uh, Thibra? And um, what types of food? Is it uh, any kind of food, American food or international, any type that you're going to be um, preparing? Or is there a certain type of food that you were looking at uh, preparing with your company? I do have a name. Um, I want it to be called AJ's Catering Service. Um, AJ is my son. Um, cause I, I want to be able to pass it on to him when I'm gone. So I figured it already has his name, you know, he'll be able, he'll just fit right in. Um, as far as the food goes, um, I'm, I'm a pretty open person when it comes to cooking. If I don't know how to cook it, I'll teach myself. Um, my style is Southern. Um, I've been interested in Asian cooking, cooking lately, but, um, I think I could pretty much make, you know, whatever someone asked me to make. I, I would teach myself how to make it. As of right now, I have recipes written down and, and things like that, but nothing is really, like, set in stone. Um, I'm still in the planning phase. But um, pretty soon I'll have, you know, business cards and, and flyers. I'm trying to start small, smaller parties and, and gradually build up. You know, I'm, I'm being realistic about it. 
Exactly, exactly. You gotta have faith on it. You gotta go for what you know, most definitely. You can't, you know, say, Oh, I guess this is gonna happen, this is what I wanna do. No, you you're doing exact you know, exactly right. What you're doing is you're going out on faith, blind faith and saying, Look, this is what I want and this is what you know, I know that um God is gonna bless me with and keep moving, you know, keep moving forward with it. So you're doing a great job with that. Uh Jeff, you don't know this, but uh, Thebra is actually my next door neighbor. Oh wow! <laughs> no, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I was, so yeah, that's uh, what I was gonna go ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was actually gonna tell. Her, I was like, well, if I if I get too crazy on the radio, just don't hold it against me, Thebra. And be like, hmm, hold on, he doesn't act like that when I see him in the street. But uh, okay, I won't. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am working on. I'm working on getting my mom on the show. Oh man, that'd be lovely. That'd be lovely. <laughs> Have moms on the show talking about cooking. Yeah. That's right. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> that'll be the chef that taught the chef, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> there you go. And I can't wait for that episode. I'm I'm not even gonna work that episode. I'm just gonna sit back and listen to y'all. I'm not gonna talk at all. <laughs> exactly. Now there's one thing that you uh said that you said, Thebro, that I wanted to um, point out, uh, not so much point out, but I wanted to discuss, was that um, when you first learned, started learning how to cook, you had some anger, anger issues, and you were saying that cooking helped you with your anger issues. Now, do you believe that would be able to help a lot of uh, youth um, calm down and learn some type of trade other than like construction or nursing and things of that nature to maybe learn cooking and that would help uh, kids with more responsibility? Definitely. I definitely think that it would help. Um, it would open a lot more doors, you know, because, I mean, food is something that we need. We all need to eat. Um being able to to cook food and and make it good, you know, that basically just makes it that much better. Um, and at the same time, it's, it's whatever the children are interested in. You have to to listen to these kids, and and once you realize what it is that they like, you have to then make sure they have the motivation, make sure they have the support, make sure that they know, like, hey, this is possible. You know, anything is possible as long as you believe it and you decide, hey, this is what I want to do. You put your mind to it, you put a plan to action, and you become who you want to be. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I always looked at cooking as being something that would pretty much calm a person down, and also it would make them time-oriented. Because if you yeah. put a um, a turkey in the oven for too long, guess what? <laughs> you're not going to have a turkey anymore. You know, you're, you're yeah. going to have Cajun food every time you turn around, and it's not going to taste that great. Yeah. So, and also, so, um, at, at the same yeah. time, I don't mean to interrupt you, at the same time, um, no, it's good. it depends on the environment they work in, too. You know, like if you're working in a restaurant and you're not necessarily a calm person, that's only going to make it worse. You know, you're going to have tickets coming back and, you're, you know, things are going to be popping and you're going to need to get things out and you're going to end up becoming angry. So that's why I say it depends. It just depends on the child. Well, um, I must say, uh, if I can, you know, butt in real quick that, you know, in this confession on my part, you know what I'm saying, I've um, came through the industry um, angry at a, at, a lot, at, a lot of, at a lot of points in my life. And I've developed a calmness over the years through cooking because it taught me passion and it taught me how to love, you know what I'm saying? Because you have to love the people that you're cooking for, you know what I'm saying? If you go, if, if you have in your mind and in, and in your heart that you want to produce clean, healthy food, you know what I'm saying? Like I, like, like I said in, in the first or the second episode, you, you know, I consider myself as a doctor of food. So, my anger issues definitely calmed down and definitely have, have started to, you know, uh, over the years, um, change into better mood swings, better attitudes, you know. And so definitely cooking is some type of ther- therapy, 
um, it's definitely therapeutic. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, that's another thing we got in common. <laughs> I just had to say mm-hmm. something more than, you know. I, I let that yeah. opportunity go by, you know. Definitely. Exactly. That's, uh, therapeutic is the perfect word for that. Like, it's very therapeutic. Yes. Yeah. So, because I, so I was uh, bring, bring explosive. In my younger years, I was very, very explosive. Yeah. Mm. Because yeah, so. that brings to mind when I was looking at this show called uh, Malcolm in the Middle. Have y'all ever seen that mo- uh, that show before, the TV show? Yeah, I remember yeah, that. I yeah. yeah, Malcolm in the Middle, Reese, the brother that was like pretty much, he wasn't the wildest one, but he was like the more, I guess, angry, the more the one that gets into fights all the time, things of that nature. And then later on in the episodes, it turned out that Reese was an excellent cook. And once that came out, it seemed like they calmed down his character so much because now he was cooking for the family. He was, you know, cooking the big meals, the Christmas and the Thanksgiving and things of that nature. So it was just kind of funny to me, not funny, but, you know, that uh, listening to you two talking about, you know, anger and being upset, and then all of a sudden you had cooking, and then the show was like, okay, well, you know, Reese is the angry one, but we're going to give him something that he's good at later on, and it was so happened to be cooking, and all of a sudden from that episode on, you never really seen him get that angry anymore, that upset anymore, because he had something to fall back on, like, the cooking, so I'm pretty sure they didn't set the show up to have people think of it in that way, but hey, that's the way it works. So, <laughs> so yeah, yep. yeah, definitely. Yeah, so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think, uh, hey, things are going well. I'm sitting there learning a lot about Debra, Mrs. Ball, and, uh, you know, what her passions are. She loves to cook. Her favorite dish is stuffed shells. So, you know, now that I know that, I'm going to have to put in my order for some stuffed (laughs) shells, you know. And and since we're right across, you know, from each other, it shouldn't take too long to bring them up. No, it won't take long at all. But, uh, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> um, but uh, what we want to do is We want to get into our next segment The next segment is uh, Recipe of the Day And um, I'm man, I'm excited If it's what Chef has posted on Facebook I was looking at that like What? I'm going to have to try that most definitely But uh, go ahead Chef Take it away with the recipe of the day Alright, definitely, definitely To God be the glory uh, The recipe of the day is Grilled Brown sugar cured salmon with a balsamic strawberry balsamic uh, reduction uh, glaze strawberry strawberry balsamic glaze. It's a it's a gourmet dish. It's definitely um, a, a dish that you want to uh, impress somebody with. Um, it's very very easy. That's the most exciting thing about the recipe. It, it's so it's so easy. <laughs> like <laughs> some of these recipes I come up with, I be like, no one would never believe that it was only three ingredients or two ingredients. And that's how simple this recipe is. So I'm I'm excited to share it. Uh, it's one of my big money makers. Like I said, you know, uh, it's something I use in my uh, catering company. Um, it's very elegant um, and. Uh, the taste is just, uh, it's far out there. You know, it's good, but it's just one of those tastes that, uh, uh, if you've never tasted before, and even if you tasted before, you'll automatically appreciate it. So, uh, pretty much, uh, what I do is I take, um, uh, about, let's say three pounds of salmon, um, uh, uh, skinless, cut into steaks, I say about six to eight ounce portions. And what you want to do is you want to take um, paprika, Spanish paprika, uh, paprika, and brown sugar. And those are the main ingredients. That's it. Uh, you use them. You use them. You use them equally. So you want to take uh, one, let's say, a cup of paprika to a cup of brown sugar. And the reason why I say a cup, because if you're using, you have to coat them on both sides. 
you got to like dread the 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 uh, fish fillet totally in it. Then once you um, dread it through the paprika and the um, brown sugar mix, you can sprinkle some um, uh, kosher salt on it. You don't even need pepper. Um, and then you uh, make sure you all your grill off. You have your your, your grill nice and high, and you um, all the grates on your on your grill. And you just put the fish on there and, uh, you know, make your grill marks and just let it cook all the way through for about a good, i say, 15, 20 minutes, pretty much 10 minutes on each side. I don't like to cook salmon over 20 minutes. Uh, me, personally, you know, I can eat salmon medium rare, uh, medium, but uh, most people, you know, uh, like it well done. Well, I won't say most people, but you know what I'm saying. Just to get it to the place where everybody likes it, which is medium well, I would say no more than 20 minutes, 10 minutes on each side. And then you just have, um, you make your uh, balsamic glaze um, out of a balsamic reduction. Cook you down some uh, balsamic glaze, I mean balsamic vinegar. Or you could just buy you some balsamic glaze. You know, um, I, I rather, I say, you know, uh, buy just buy some balsamic glaze already. Uh, mostly any supermarket, any um, whole food place. Uh, I like to use the strawberry uh, glaze out of Sam's Sam's Club, um, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's easy, simple, and it's an elegant taste. Um, and whoever you cook it for, whoever you cook this dish for, they should love it. And there you have it. brown sugar uh, grilled brown sugar cured salmon. All right, fantastic, fantastic. Now, is that something that uh, you've heard of before uh, yourself, Debra? Um, yeah, well, not the brown sugar part. I've never heard of putting brown sugar on salmon. That actually sounds like it would be pretty good. Um, but yeah, I've, I've heard of a, a, a balsamic glaze on salmon before. It's definitely elegant. It's definitely something that you want to you want to use to impress someone. I don't know if you have a date or something like that. But. It sounds good. Yeah, it, it, it's, okay. it, it's one of my favorites. And the last, the last, like thing, excellent. Yeah, I'll post. Uh, I'll post the, uh, the 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 recipe and the method of prep uh, after every show. Sometime during the, during the week, I'll post the uh, recipe. So uh, def- definitely, everybody that's listening, go to. Uh, Cook it, the the uh, cooking with PD Nature fan page on Facebook, and you'll definitely see the recipes. And if you have any questions or if you want any uh, recipes mailed to you, uh, emailed to you, you definitely hit me up at cookingwithpdnature at gmail dot com. Yes, yes. Now I didn't get a chance to ask you, PD. Um, what have you learned new this week, or is there anything this week that happened to you? Uh, as far as like a testimony from anybody or something that you n- learned new, I know last week you brought up uh, black seed oil. So, is there anything new that uh, you learned this week? Uh, this week was was pretty much a, t- a test of faith. Um, I ended I ended up getting really really um, tired and o- almost overwhelmed and. You know, I just pretty much, like, just gave it all to God. Like, just threw my hands up, like, okay, God, you know, this this, this is just too much. I need some help. And um, God asked his prayers because um, I was, I'm was i blessed with a, 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 um, a catering coordinator now, someone that I wanted in this position for my business. Um, so definitely shout out to Leticia Ezra. Um, she's very good at what she she at what she do, and uh, she's going to definitely make a turnaround for the catering business for me. And I'm already really as far as you know um, duties that I've been doing, other than uh, cooking and um, you know uh, preparing the food and delivering the food to my clients. So I'm definitely excited to have her aboard. Uh, it's, she's definitely a blessing. Um, so that's one of the best things. Um, and one of the lessons of this week, you know, just regardless of what happened, regardless of how tired you get, how overwhelmed you feel, just keep looking up. Just keep looking up. Throw your hands up. God will always rescue a soul that 
is willing to surrender. And that's what it's all about. Mm. You know, so I, I'm at that stage in my life where I'm learning how to surrender all, you know. You know, I, 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 I'm not going to sit here and say I've mastered it, <laughs> but I'm learning day by day how to, how to surrender all. You know, and just, you know, just to encourage others out there, you know, as far as surrendering, I've, I've surrendered my businesses to God. You know, I haven't worked for another company, corporation, in almost two years. And, you know, that's my testimony. You know what I'm saying? And many trials and tribulations, many trials and tribulations have still um, taken place in my life, and I still keep looking up. I still keep trusting God. I will not curse God. I will not, you know, deny God, regardless of what happens. You know what I'm saying? And, you, you know, that's just a... I just had to get that in there. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, God is good. And that's one thing that we stand on in this show is glorifying God. So I thank all the listeners. Mm-hmm. I do have a shout out I want to get in there. I want to shout out to a firm believer in God that has really, really, really been, you know, um, encouraging me and motivating me over the years. She's definitely listening right now. Um, a good friend of mine, uh, Lisa Hightower. Um, definitely hold your head up. And 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 put God first. What's cooking, Lisa? Woo! What's up? Oh, she can burn too. She can burn. Let me tell you now. You know when the chef can sit down and don't have to worry about the food. You know, you know they can burn. <laughs> so she, there you go. She, she definitely exactly. somebody that trust they food. I trust her food. You know what I'm saying. Yes, yes. Well, uh, Thibra, what we're going to do is we're going to allow you to have, um, it's not going to be the last word, but I want everybody to know where they can actually um, come by and get in contact with you if they want, you know, want you to cook for their events or, you know, where you're working at right now. They may be able to come by and, you know, show you some patronage to the company you're cooking for. I actually work at Rappahannock Grill right now. It's right on Main Street in Kilmarnock. Um, as far as the the company that I'm trying to, to build, I'll have business cards. Hopefully by the end of this week, which I'll start passing out, you'll see them in various places just around town. And, you know, all my information will be on there. I have a Facebook page. Um, Zebra Ball is my Facebook name. And I also have another Facebook page for my catering company. It's called AJ's Catering Service. You know, um, so we're we're trying to move forward right now, and um, just um, let me know if if anybody has any ideas, any type of food that they may want to see, or you know, whatever you'll pay for, I'll I'll provide. <laughs> I love that. Whatever you pay for, she'll provide. That's right. Let's get it. <laughs> Don't come to her and talk about. Can I get some free chicken wings? And. and. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, that's fantastic. I'm glad that you uh you know found the time to be able to come on the show, and I definitely want you back on uh the show also on another one of our shows. We actually have posts of the Northern Neck Radio Show, so that's more of a local show and everything. So I want you to come back on there and let people know locally and everything, you know, what you have going on, so we can really get the word out about AJ's catering. So um, Orlando Presents Network and PD Nature, Cooking with PD Nature, we're here to assist you in any way that we, you know, we can to get the word out for you. Um, okay. Ladies Thank and gentlemen, you. ladies and gentlemen, no problem at all. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the time of the hour. I know you heard the recipe of the day, but this is the What's Cooking song of the day. Um, the reason why I picked this gentleman because this guy has been on the grind. I'm telling you, he's been on the grind for a long time uh, with his music, with his company, with his faith. Um, God has really been moving in his life, doing some big things. He just won a competition, whereas he's going to be performing with a lot of big names like Toby Mac out at um out in Richmond and at King's Dominion. So you know that's huge cuz there's going to be a lot of people seeing him there. Uh also he just started his own record label. Every time I try to think of the name it it escapes me so I do apologize. But 
like I said, this guy has been on the grind. He's been on my show at least twice. Uh, he was my very first interview when I first started Orlando Presents Before the Fame, and that is none other than Jarrell J. Rock Golden from the Essex area, Tappahannock. So we're going to play his song. This is the What's Cooking song of the day, and I would say salute. To y'all, happy cooking out there. Let's say, hey, let's get to burning, but let's not burn down the house, all right? You know, let's <laughs> let's be careful out there. You know, let's be careful out there. But uh, for myself, from PD Nature and Thebra Ball, I say, hey, thank you for listening. Thanks for tuning in, and we will be back next Sunday. And I believe PD has a surprise chef that may be on the line from. Where is he from, Chef? Is he from New York? No, nah, he's um he's from Puerto Rico, but he's um cooking in the Cayman Islands. He's been in the Cayman Islands for a couple of years now. Okay, so, okay. So I'm excited about that one. Yeah, so he'll be calling live from either Puerto Rico or the Cayman Islands. Yes, yes. That's exciting. That's exciting. So uh, y'all tune in next week, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hey, we love y'all. God, lo- God loves you even more. Once again, what's cooking song of the day? That blah, blah by my man, j Rail, J-Rock Golden. Let's get it. Hey, witness on the beat. <sighs> hey, this is what I put on the go hard, Jerry. So we better go hard. Turn up! Looking inside of that mirror, calling himself one of the realest go getters with a butt in his hand and a couple of liquor. Thinking he got a young thug of the jigger, he mugging on nothing but some I can picture. Him in the hood with his shot while that screw got his back, now we yelling and pulling no trigger. Go hard, go hard or go home. He's staying with a loud pack, smelling like a skunk. The can in the car, so be cautious of riding the am. If he gets pulled over, then it's gonna be ma'am, cause he bout that life. Got a saw already, if the law on him, maybe he gon' ball like McGrady. And he ain't stopping for that, and it's slowing down. If his tires blow out, then it's gonna go down. Yeah. No doubt he real about that Saying nigga hard, he'll die before whack Word around town was now we sell crack Even though we don't, he act like it's a fact So we pack the back, pack to his back and take a tax Me and other white people in black Smelling like ginger ale and cognac Ugh, stank mode with that dank on Bank roll of them pesos You would think bro just hate cold Cause his name is hot to him laying low Means staying broke so we ain't home He on every corner with that weight on He thinking that he got it made But no, no, he think wrong Got it.
chill, no body straight, live it up, that what? Be like, go to walk, be like, flies, walk, be like, brain, not an action, why walk, be like, go to walk, be like, flies, walk, be like, brain, I ask you why. Subway restaurants are more than a great place to eat. They're a great opportunity. These local restaurants give people a way to become small business owners. People like Matt and Stacy in Chesterfield and P2 in Short Pump can be their own boss. They can create jobs in their community and they can help their town thrive. At Subway, we're proud of the opportunities they make possible. Opportunities you help support whenever you visit. Local restaurants, independently owned. Subway restaurants are more than a great place to eat. They're a great opportunity. These local restaurants give people a way to become small business owners. People like Matt and Stacy in Chesterfield and P2 in Short Pump can be their own boss. They can create jobs in their community and they can help their town thrive. At Subway, we're proud of the opportunities they make possible. Opportunities you help support whenever you visit. Local restaurants, independently owned. <laughs> 